Pokemon trainers, what happens when you use the best lead, the best closer, and the best switch Pokemon according to PvP Poke? Well, today we're going to find out because we're going to be using the best lead, the best closer, and the best switch Pokemon in the Great League. So here they are. This is the best lead, the best switch, and the best closer according to PvP Poke. I believe the website is PV Poke, but I just like to say PvP Poke. So we're going to go ahead and just continue with the PvP Poke. So that website is honestly one of the best websites for any Go Battle League team building. It actually stays up to date even with the new cups. And um, right here, these three Pokemon, if you go under the overall, uh, if you go under the, go, the Great League and you look them up for the best lead, the best closer, and the best switch, these three Pokemon will pop up. It's Shadow, Polyrath, Metacham, and Registeel. So now let's go ahead and jump right into the commentary so we could see how good these Pokemon are. So in this first clip though, the first battle, I did not have a lock on Zap Cannon and Registeel. Simply because I thought I didn't have one, but I actually did. So once I was battling, I noticed that Focus Blast. Um, I already have a lot of fighting coverage on my team, so we're going to go ahead and uh, use flash cannon instead simply because i already have a lot of fighting and i want to use a little bit more moves for uh the pokemon that are going to be coming in so right here we're going to go ahead and just go straight flash cannon uh there's no need to go focus blast that will be resisted we do need to shield all those digs though another flash cannon's going to come in because this glygar will hurt us with those digs and right there um if we bring in polyrath right here and we're going to be able to shield this Hopefully do a power up punch and have get our attack boosted But right here, we're gonna over farm a little bit and we're actually gonna use scald uh, right here Simply because a power up punch will be resisted and now they brought in a mal metal, which is perfect Power up punch is gonna be coming in. Hopefully we could uh, get uh, This mal metal fairly fairly low because then we're gonna be uh, threatened by the superpower against our regis deal so right here though their mistake is they go for the rock slide which is going to be able to get us that get that Melmetal down to 1 HP and we're going to be able to farm it down with lock on. So Registeel doing its job closing out the battle for us. So here we go now with the uh, Polyrath and Skarmory. So this matchup we should be losing it right but we actually did a bunch of damage. Look at all that damage that we were able to do. Scrafty now is going to be coming in here and Zap Cannon. The best thing about Zap Cannon is that it will have a chance to lower your opponent's attack, I believe. Uh, it's not going to be a guaranteed uh, debuff, but you do have that possibility. So right there, they do manage to shield that Zap Cannon, which is fine. Um, our main objective here is just going to be to try to get to another Zap Cannon, but we aren't going to use any shields on this power-up punch, and we are not able to get to the Zap Cannon, which is okay. Magic Champ's going to come in here now. Uh, the main reason why we decided to go with the Metacham is because we're going to be able to resist those counters uh, because Metacham's a uh, psychic part, psychic type, and uh, the Shadow Polyrath will not. It'll be doing neutral damage. So right here, Skarmory's going to come in here now. Now we're just going to go straight Ice Punch. A psychic will be resisted, so there will be no need right there. Another Ice Punch coming in. We just need to watch out for the Sky Attacks and the Brave Birds from the Skarmory. So as you can see there, the Skarmory now is going to get to a charge move. And we are going to let this go down. And I believe we're going to swap immediately. Up yep, there we go. We're going to swap immediately and try to go for the farm down. They bring in a Vigoroth, which is going to be perfect for us. Because now we could just go to town with these power-up punches. As you can see there, back-to-back power-up punch will be super crucial for us to get this win. And now we're going to be able to do counter damage. Look at how much counter damage that was. We get another power-up punch, which we which is really, really good. Right here, we're going to be able to knock out the Vigoroth. And then this Skarmory comes in here and we're able to knock it out again. So just take a look at this team. Let me know in the comments down below what your opinion is. For me, I really don't like to use the best Pokemon from PvP Poke simply because I like to spice it up, right? This could be considered Meta, Metacham, Registeel. You will always see those Pokemon. But right here, we're going to go ahead and throw this Scald against uh, this Golbat right here. If it lands, it's going to do super... Uh, it's going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to be super effective, but it's going to be a lot of damage. So Registeel is going to come in here now. Right here, Registeel is going to uh, go up against this Polyrath, which is perfect with the Zap Cannon. If it lands, it will one-shot. And unfortunately, though, it does not land. But you see that it dropped their attack. So now that means 
they're going to be doing less damage to us, which is perfect. Right here, I believe we don't shield. It's going to be a skull, but they are debuffed, so that's perfect for us. Now we're gonna now we're gonna be able to put that pressure for the sh for those shields. Uh, Psychic's gonna be coming in here, knocks out the Polyrath perfectly right there. Golbat's gonna be coming in, and right here we are gonna shield for that potential Shadow Ball. But if we did get baited by that Poison Fang, and unfortunately though, right here we're gonna go ahead and use another shield right there. So po so two Poison Fang uh, shield baits. Now Stunfist is gonna come in here, and now this is going to be a bit of a problem because Stunfisk will be able to get a I believe a Rock Slide from that range will knock us out and then we will not be able to hit it at all with our Registeel so right there this would be a great scenario of where Focus Blast would have been better but we chose to do Flash Cannon because we already have a lot of um, fighting type moves so right here one Earthquake from this range should be doing a decent amount of damage uh, Earthquake's going to be coming in here, and we did survive, but unfortunately, though, this Flash Cannon will not will not do a lot of damage, and it actually did knock it out, but they still had that gold bat, so that was GG's to my opponent. But hey, you literally cannot win every single battle, which is fine. And then right here, Polyrath versus Muck. Now, this one right here again, look at that much damage from the Shadow Polyrath. Um, Shadow Polyrath has been rank has been a pretty high rank since the beginning of the new season. That counter move has really, really pushed it up in the ranking. So right here, now this mug goes down. They did take a shield from us, which is gonna be fine. Escavalier is gonna come in here now. This is perfect. This is fine for us. Uh, we're gonna be able to resist those counters with our Medicham if. Uh, once they knock out this Polyrath, but look at that. We're able to do so much pressure with those power-up punches The damage does start building up and we were able to take out both shields Now this magic champs gonna be coming in here and hopefully hopefully the no they beat us with acid spray So we did go down a shield that's gonna be fine though This ice punch should be enough from this range to knock out the Escavalier It, it doesn't though, but we are able to farm it down with one counter now Altaria is going to come in here and this is fine this is perfect this is going to be a ggs because Altaria will not be able to touch our registeel now we bring in registeel and they did forfeit so that was good game to my opponent now let's go ahead and jump into the final battle of the video so let me know down below in the comments down below what you think so far of this team let me know if you're thinking about running it or if you're annoyed by the metacham and the registeel also, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, this skull is going to come in here. We are able to drop their attack, which is perfect. Uh, they're going to be throwing Psychic, though, and that knocks us out. Now, Metacham is going to be coming in here, and hopefully we could do a lot. We could get a lot of energy, but we are going to throw this Ice Punch, though, so that they don't have a chance to throw a Psychic. They will shield, though. So, I believe right here, we will shield as well for the potential Psychic. Psychic gets thrown, but we're able to block it right there. Azumarill is going to come in here perfect for us. We're going to bring in our Registeel for the Zap Cannon. Hopefully, though, uh, they don't, they aren't running Hydro Pump. They are now, they're running Play Rough and Ice Beam, which is perfect. Right here, we're going to throw the Zap Cannon to do a lot of damage. That Zap Cannon does land. We dropped their attack, and we're looking even better now in this position because Azumarill will not be able to touch us at all now play rough's gonna be coming in here that's gonna be fine by us now we're gonna throw flash cannon simply for the less energy that is required to use it so then now metacham's gonna come in here and right here we're gonna swap perfectly into our own metacham they're gonna bring in lick a tongue which is gonna be perfect if we could drop their defense with this sidekick that's gonna be amazing uh, as you can see there, they did let that go. Lickitung's going to be able to get to a body slam. There should be a body slam. We are going to shield because Lick damage is super, is super effective against us. Uh, right here, this Metacham now is going to go throw the Ice Punch. They're going to shield it, which is fine. See, Power Up Punch would have been nice here. Simply because it's we get to it a lot uh, fairly quickly. But Ice Punch still gets the job done. And we're going to be able to take this win right here because we have our registeel that's going to close out this battle so there you guys have it let me know down below what your opinion is if you think uh 
You're going to be using PvP Poke. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.